Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope you're doing great. In this video, we are going to see how to debug a program by another user ID. What is the reason we need to debug a program by another user ID? So we may have a function module or RFC function module. It executes fine with your user ID, but if it is, if the same function module is getting called by the portal user, they are saying the expected results are not coming from the function module. So same thing, you can take an example of UFA also. So UFI, OData servers, and OData servers is receiving the request and sending the data back to the UFI. And uh, you may have a um, RFC function module that is working fine if you execute independently with your user ID. But the same thing is it's, it's not happening if the request is coming from the UFI level. So mostly if you see the design, there could be a, a common user. Let me execute, go to the slides. So this is the design and there could be some standard or common user ID most of the uh, clients are using. So with the help of that user ID only, the request is coming from outside of your SAP, maybe portal to SAP or UEFI to SAP. And the same way the communication sending the data sending back to the UI or portal team. Okay. So now uh, we have to identify what is happening if the cursor or if the control is coming from a different user ID. So uh, in this scenario, we need to have a breakpoint for that particular user ID, right? So we have an option of uh, changing the user for a particular period, uh, saying that, okay, I'm going to change the user, uh, maybe user A is mine, user B is the existing or external user, but it's again SAP user. So in that scenario, I want to just check what is happening in the background side what is happening in the debugging level okay so that could be the one of the reason why we need to change uh, the user id especially for the debugging level okay in some scenarios it's very rare scenario it's like uh, from a business users or a functional people they are saying it is working for your id it is not working for my user id so in that scenario also we can be able to make use of this option so where to change or where to feed that particular user id so any uh, transactions which supports to write a code probably SC38, SC37 or SC24 you have an option called uh, utility settings I believe uh, I'll show you that utility settings and you're able to see there is an option called ABAP editor and then debugging so in that you have an option called debugging external request for example it may be RFC or a HTTP and there is a user uh, a button by default it's selected Right. And then by default, this particular input box is filled with your own user ID. Whoever is logging through that particular server, that user ID is getting logged here. Okay. So here is the place where I'm going to change. For example, I have user A, uh, user B is the user which is it's uh, getting connecting the request from the UI to uh, backend system. So I'm going to use that particular user ID. So very basic pre-request is that could be a SAP user and that user is enabled for debugging option. Okay. So if the user doesn't have an authorization to uh, have a debugging level or debugging authorization, then you're not able to do it. That is a basic request. Uh, before using that user ID, make sure that user ID has the proper authorization for the debugging level. Okay. So let's get into the system. So this is my system here. The scenario which I am going to show you is uh, OData servers and uh, I have only one system. So I'm going to use the same systems gateway service transaction, gateway client service transaction. And I'm going to call and I have a get entity set method. There are There is there is a one select query. So we are going to keep a breakpoint over there only. Okay. So I'll show you the code. It's pretty simple. Just select 20 rows from EKPO table and okay and I have already opened the SAP client service as well and if you go to entity set and execute you will get the first 20 records from EKPO table it's pretty simple so now I'm going to utilities settings and here you can see ABAP editor debugging. 
okay so this is my current user id so em about 48 uh, by default because that is the way i log in and if i execute if i give a breakpoint and I execute the uh, server the client gateway server obviously it will come and stops here okay so we'll see how it works and external breakpoint it's not required because i'm using the same system but if it is a different gateway server or you're going to execute from the ui or portal make sure you have an external breakpoint so now go here and execute <coughs> it's stopped okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the user name so my um requirement is there is a user uh, it is the common user which is going to use uh, mostly the communication between the non-sap to sap system so we need to debug that level okay so what i have is i have a user called yji dummy i have another user so i just kept miss i just i'm just changing it okay just changing it then it will ask uh, user already has external breakpoints do you want to keep them for an active for this user also like if you want to transfer your breakpoints from your user a to user b the option is yours yes no okay so do you want to keep them active for this user also yes i want to use that also now you might have you, you can see the message here now the external breakpoint is setting for yji dummy okay so now what i notice i'm i'm not uh, here i didn't take the breakpoint still it is valid for this user now if i execute my gateway client it won't stop because my logged in user is em above 48 but the debug is set for the another user id that is yji dummy okay so now what i notice let me go there and let me execute it so it's executed and it is not stopped because now the breakpoint is transferred to the another user id so now imagine i'm going to execute the ui currently I, we don't have ui but imagine it so now the ui executes the communication is happening from ui to sap through yji dummy that is also one of the sap user and that is also have a proper authorization for debugging so if I execute the UI in my system, it automatically stops in the uh, get entity uh, entity method because the breakpoint uh, has been set for YJI dummy uh, user ID. So this is a way you can able to test or you can able to debug any of your uh, uh, any of your portal or any of your UI for scenarios. You may just try to check what is happening especially for that particular user id so this may be possible if you want to uh, check with someone else user id very rare scenario we might have this issue it's working for one user id but it's not for others if that is the case also you're able to use this option to just see what is happening through that particular user id okay and one more thing make sure you are uh, you are just uh, once you are testing or once your things are done make sure you come and change your user id because it is not a, a default or it's not automatically logged in. every login is automatically coming from the login user because i encountered that particular issue so i just changed even after a week it is just keeping my whatever id i have changed not my id okay so please make sure just change it to your own user id otherwise it won't stop for your uh, user id for any other debugging session got it and this is especially for the rfc and http not for the internal ones okay okay yes so now this is enabled for my em about 40 user id if i execute automatically it stops yes okay Okay, so hope this might be useful for you and uh, just go through it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.